Hi everyone, this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music. Here's a quick ear training lesson to practice what I call transposition of the frozen note. So you take any piece of music which you're working on, it it's more likely going to be a melody and freeze that particular melody line at a certain point and then we have to do a lot of things with that frozen note in terms of transposition. So how do we transpose it will be in a variety of ways. We'll be using the circle of fifths, we'll be using intervals and a bunch of other things. So do stay tuned for the entire lesson and also consider checking out a few more ear training lessons which we'll leave in the description or I should say ear training approaches just ways to train your ears organically without an app or without any other kind of teacher or course or whatever it's just you playing the instrument it could be piano or anything and just figuring out a way to improve as a musician and you don't even need a piano actually you can do this in a car on a long journey or even in a flight i hope so before we get started it'll be nice if you can consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell for regular notifications and our structured ear training content will be available on nathanielschool.com and you can also consider doing a six month semester at our school where I'll be one of your teachers and I'll be sure to teach you ear training from ground zero if you need to. So let's get cracking. I'm going to take a familiar song, at least for the older generations who watch The Wizard of Oz, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So we'll take it on the key of C major. Let me first play you the melody. C, C, B, G, A, B, C, C, A, G. Now, instead of looking at it from a note by note perspective, the first thing I'd like to do is look at the gaps between the notes and how far and wide these notes are with respect to each other. Is it a close interval? The close intervals would be seconds. Though that's also what we call a stepwise motion. These are seconds, while leapwise motion would start from thirds. You have a minor third, major third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, sometimes a tritone. Then we have a major sixth, minor sixth, major seventh, minor seventh, and it could go all the way to the octave, which somewhere over the rainbow does in the first word itself, somewhere. So that'll be somewhere. That's octave, one octave, seven for the rainbow, O is seven for the rainbow. So it's very important for you, first of all, to draw this melody down. You can see my handwritten notes, which can be helpful, where I've drawn what I call as a melodic curve. So it just shows you the the points show you each note and the gap from one point or the distance from one point or the other is just like a y-axis in a graph, which kind of is how staff notation also works, right? Farther the the oval is from the next one. If it's going from a line to a very high space, you know it's probably an octave or a wider interval. While if it's line, line, it's going to be a third. If it's space to the very next space, it's going to be a, again a third. If it's line to the very next space, it's going to be a second or space to line. Um, if it's skipping, then it's going to be a fifth. If it's skipping one line or one space, so with notation, it's kind of a y-axis which shows you exactly the distance or the gaps between notes and that's how we remember intervals. In fact, that's the definition of intervals in the textbook where interval is the gap or the distance between notes. I don't like to define intervals that way. I just like to go with interval is the vibe when two notes collide because that vibe is very important for the ear. So coming back, so it's important to write down the melodic curves somewhere over so what's happening there one octave seven five one octave major seventh perfect fifth the rainbow 
over the rainbow. So now it's going in step motion. Over the rainbow. S ni pa da ni sa pa da ni sa. Five, six, seven, eight. Very uh, linear, very stepwise. Somewhere over the. Now again a step happens. Away, somewhere over the rainbow way. So it's somewhere going up an octave. Over the knee, now for the next sentence, way that's a descending octave where we we go from the top octave, way, and then another jump, way up high. That's root major sixth, perfect fifth. And for this lesson, let's just stick with that line. Otherwise, it may take too long. You'll probably benefit more if you join one of my longer classes or regular classes at the school. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. So now let's look at freezing a certain note and flipping the interval or transposing the music. And... That's going to be pretty challenging. So what you first do is sum. Now this is my root. The exercise goes like this. Somewhere over, I'm going to freeze my music at the uh, which is what now? Sa sa ni pa. That's your fifth. So I'm freezing at the fifth. Sa sa ni pa. Somewhere over. Now this has to be your next root. Some, somewhere over. Now this becomes some. And you have to re-sing somewhere over the rainbow with this G. Somewhere over. So come back to see. Somewhere over. Somewhere over. You can finish it off by playing it and checking. So, somewhere over. And then, whoa, that's G. Somewhere over. And where did the new over end? At the D. Somewhere over. That's D. Then somewhere over, somewhere over, and now is the top fifth of the D. Somewhere over, E is the land. Somewhere over, and then somewhere over. And then F sharp, somewhere over, somewhere over, somewhere over, somewhere over, somewhere over, somewhere over, somewhere over. And look what just happened. I came back to C. So I've ended up going around the circle of fifths. So when you freeze these notes, it's going to really train your brain to know not only the note which you froze, but you'll have to sing that, transpose it down an octave, which is a skill, and then re-sing the entire song from that particular point. So let's take this over um, another song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star is my new root. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Tum, tum, pum, 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 Freeze another note in somewhere over the rainbow. Let's come back to that and see where we can go from there. Somewhere over, 
Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, high is another fifth. Maybe you can do the same deal. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Or somewhere over the rainbow, way up. Up and now that becomes your next rule. Where over the rainbow, way up high. So the root and fifth are very prominent intervals in most songs. So you're going to find a fifth. I thought somewhere over the rainbow will be a good example because of the the depth of the intervals. If it's another song, you're probably going to do it in a very linear way. So maybe wherever the fifth is, find it or write it down in the melodic curve. Freeze the fifth and then transpose it around the fifth so you do twinkle twinkle little star that's your five twinkle twinkle little star and then you go around the circle of fifths so essentially freeze the fifth you can even freeze the third or the minor third or the sixth but it won't be cyclic you won't be able to do it fully around the circle of fifths you'll just have to do it in a very academic way you'll have to stop at one note and just restart the song from that note so I guess find the fifth, prioritize with the fifths and then you can do the thirds, the fourths, the sixth and maybe even the seventh. Right, so hope you found this ear training tip useful. Try to do this wherever you are. If you have a melody in your head, practice it wherever. It could be in a cab, it could be just in a, uh, in a flight or wherever it may be. Wherever you have some time to kill, you can always practice ear training. You don't need a book, you don't need an app. In this case, you don't even need a piano. You just need your brain and the song to play in your brain and either sing it out loud or you can even sing it internally, so to speak. Right? So thanks a ton for watching the lesson. Do stay tuned to our channel for more ear training videos and leave us a comment with what you would like to learn from our channel next. It could be a, a continued ear training topic which is haunting you um, or maybe theory, maybe some composition, maybe some piano or technology or whatever you would like to learn. The channel is yours and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Then it will really be yours. Cheers and catch you in the next one.